What's going on guys? My name is Ernie. Thank you for tuning in on iFish Fresh and Salty. And today, as you guys can tell, we had a beautiful, successful day out on the Pacific Ocean catching fresh salmon. Can't wait to cook them up. So pretty much in this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to catch them, clean them, and cook them as well. So also two guys do want to mention out I, on my past couple videos, I am doing a giveaway. Um, help me try to reach a thousand subscribers and I'm going to be doing a giveaway with Dyer Rod uh, for free. So all you have to do is I'll put all the information in the link in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, like this video guys. Enough talking, let's get to fishing guys. All right guys, so we are out here in the Pacific Ocean, fishing with my buddies. We are on Captain Paul's boat, and uh, like I said, we are going to be going after salmon. So right now, we got one on a downrigger right here, guys, and we got one with a big uh, cannonball lead dropping down. Paul, what uh, depth are we at right now? 170. 170, and we have these at what, 35? Yeah. 35, so... Um, it was pretty rough coming out here, like super rough out of the Golden Gate. And um, we made it out here, it's looking pretty good. Weather's a little overcast. And uh, let's see if we can get some fish on, guys. So this is our setup here that we're doing here. We got uh, an anchovy, you have it, so you had it marinated in something, huh? Yeah. What's it called? It's just a home brewed. A home brewed little marination. And um, that little cap right there, Paul, what is that? The cripple herring. Cripple herring. Fish? We got fish, baby. We got fish. Going. Let's go, baby. No, he's Hold right on. there. He's there. He's there. Steer the boat, Gene. Ooh. That's a nice size. That's going to be a yeah. keeper size, guys. Yeah. For sure. Uh, see, uh, keeper size for salmon out here, guys, is going to be 20 inches. So for sure, over 20 inches. First one, baby. Let's go. Let's go, G. Hey, boy. How's it feel, brother? Feels good. Feels right. good. Feels good. Let's go. It feels good. Let's go. It feels good. Nice head shakes on the tip of the rod. Beautiful. I don't get tired a little bit. Back, 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 back. Yes. Oh, nice one. Oh. Yes. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Chino. Chino. You got your one, you lost. Yeah. <laughs> Monster dinosaur salmon, guys. One hook. You had one hook. Look at how barely it's hooked. Look at that. Look, Look at, at that skin on rip. Look, Look at, at that, that, guys. Look at it. Black lip. No, but you see the hook? Yeah. It's gonna rip his Yeah, no, off. that's what happens. They have no. We're hooked up, guys. Get it, get it, get it, get it. I know. Hit, the I hit that green button, Gino, on the downrigger. Okay. Bring Hold it up. It. Hold it until it comes up, then let go. You sure you got the netting? And it's good pressure. Is it yeah. coming up? I got it. Right there? Is that enough? Look. Up. Yeah, up, all, up, all, up. all the way. All right, right there. Maggie, right yeah, let's go. Oh, you Maggie, nice and easy, Maggie. Let him run, let him run. Maggie, yeah. he's still out there. Just oh yeah, yeah. he's out there, Maggie. I see those head shakes right there, guys. Beautiful. For sure, keeper side has to be. Let's go, Maggie. Nice. Nice color. Nice color. Oh, oh dude. 
Let him go, Mike, let him run. We're gonna beat this thing. Look. That was a big one. We're going home. Keep it up. Okay, let me get the, let me get the, oh shit, this one's going, another one, double, double, this is going to be, let's go baby, what, we got a nice one on this one, got to keep tension on this guys, we got a double right here, hey, how's that feel Gene, oh shit, keep it, no, just take your time, take your time, Gene. oh yeah, I see him about, oh nice, he jumped out, oh nice, hopefully, Selene, I got it, boy. Okay. Is he here? Yeah, he's coming. All right. Mine's a little out. Yeah. Just height. We got doubles, baby. Hopefully, we can stay on. We are using barbless hooks here, guys. That's how we do it, baby. Stand by. Yeah. Here we come. Mine's swimming towards me. Mine's coming right now. Take your right. time. Take your time, bro. Dude, you both have good feet. Oh, mine came off. I told you, take your time. Shit. Damn it. Hurry, Polly. All right, bring them in. Yeah. What? Yes. How did I lose that? Beautiful. One? Yes, guys. You got it. Bloody dicks, baby. Let's go, guys. We dropped the ball. care of business all that matters is this fish on deck guys let's go here having a blast four in the box Yippee! or in the back check it out guys nice size prize fish right there guys we got two right there two in the bottom we got one head right there so we're having a blast a we are we are back. four away uh for a limit, so hopefully we can reach that. We're hooked up big time right here, guys. Hopefully we can land this guy. Hey, Mike, get your videotape. Get your camera out. Videotape this shit. Oh. Oh, nice! Did you see that? Yeah! That's sick, dude! Pressure, high tip, we're good. Any slack, that means you're swimming into us, and you're gonna reel it in. Good pressure, steady. It's a good one, huh? Dude, you didn't see it jump, Celine? No, I'm over here fiddling with this one. Stop it. Alright, real, 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 bring your tip up. Yeah! <laughs> Beautiful, guys. Mikey, good captaining. <laughs> another one! Got another one, right here! Celine! Go! Here, Mikey, you want to get Mikey, this one? get this one, Mike! We got a hook up, guys! Let's hey, keep, keep it going, keep it going. Real, 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 real. Change it right here. Nice. The net. Is it free? Yes. Okay, Gene, take the wheel. Turn it to the left. Woohoo! The left, the left, the, the left. The left, this way. Look at that, guys. How much? Like that? We're hooked up yeah. right now. Is that good? Reeling it in. Take your time, Mikey. Don't we got Mike hooked up. Woohoo! Here's what's all about right here. Are we good? All right, guys. Uh, we are having a pretty cool time out here. We're two away from our limit, so actually, what we want to do, we have a little uh, cleaning station here, and beautiful size salmon like this. Uh, I'm just gonna gut them up, take the blood out of the guts, and uh, they'll be nice, ready to go when we bring them home. So, what you want to do? Come on in here, Mike. From the anal, just uh, bring yourself on up. Nice sharp knife does the job. Just be careful. And just go ahead and take everything out. It's nice.
just go ahead and scrape it all out and just do a nice little clean job so you don't have to do it at home make a mess and we're just gonna bring it out to the sea and uh, that's pretty much it that's about it. okay so this is pretty much what it looks like guys after it's nice and done you get out the guts the blood lining and uh, that's it so we're gonna go ahead and do the rest of them and uh, hope we get two more so we're back at the house guys super cool time hanging out with my buddies and look at this guys i mean king salmon are you kidding me fresh i already did uh took the bloodline gutted them out put them nice and fresh in my angle cooler and uh this is about two days later guys I, we went out fishing on saturday and today is monday yesterday was father's day and we were busy the kids did a lot of things for me so we were just at the house relaxing and back to business let's go ahead and fillet this guys and I have something delicious for my family. And obviously once again for you guys to see what I'm gonna be cooking up here. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, first thing we wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take his head off. Like I said, guys, I already did go ahead and clean him up. Beautiful orange skin, a beautiful salmon color. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and go behind, right, right behind the head. We're gonna take the head off. Just make my fillet job just a little bit easier. I am using an eight inch Dexter outdoor uh, charade knife guys so really awesome knife, very sharp and uh, let's go ahead and go on down and right now look can't go down anymore we're gonna go ahead and push it there you go beautiful look at that guys you guys can make fish soup out of that look at all that meat right there very delicious beautiful that black lip king salmon that's what you guys are looking for right there awesome man great fighting fish okay so no more using our charade knife we're going to go ahead and go to our our six inch it's really like one of my favorite knives it's so versatile for all different sizes of fish six inch fillet knife dexter so what i want to do if you guys can see that that's that's the spine right there i want to go ahead and go down until it take the fillet down And that's what you're left with right there. Barely any meat on the carcass. Carcass is right here. You got your head and you got this. Let's go ahead and snap him down. And you're, look at these two monster fillets, guys. Check that out. Boom. So now I just want to clean them up. All right, what's up, guys? We are back in the kitchen. It is freaking hotter than heck outside where I live at. It's about 102, 104 degrees and you stand outside, start dripping sweat. So we're inside in the air conditioner. Let's go ahead and get this delicious meal started. We're gonna do it with my first sides. We're gonna be doing some asparagus. I already did go ahead and clean them and also took their, their ends off. I probably took about an inch and a half to two inches off. So uh, just cause obviously the ends are just, they're just a lot chewier. So what I wanna do is I have about uh, some avocado oil uh, right on in here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drizzle uh, not too much guys, just, just enough just so I can coat it because I'm going to be putting salt and pepper. Just enough. That should be good right there. Alright, next thing, we're going to go ahead and uh, coat this with salt. We've got some kosher salt here. Same thing on this one, on this tray over here. Beautiful. And some fresh cracked black pepper, same thing. And then we're gonna put this in the oven for four, I already have it on 400 degrees, about 25 minutes, it's oven, ro oven roasted. I haven't decided if I wanna add some cheese for extra flavor. So but pretty much that's what we're looking at. And I just get, just get your hands nice and uh, messy and just go ahead and uh, massage the oil, salt and pepper, just so it's evenly coated.
All right, guys, while we're waiting for the asparagus to cook on its own, where this is also, this uh, salmon's also gonna be going, I'm gonna do an oven baked salmon, so I'm gonna prepare it, season it up, wait for him to come out, and then we'll switch places. So I got my two trays here, my seasonings, delicious fish. So I'm gonna go ahead and prepare the bottom right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put lemon slices down. So that's what it's looking like right now. Same thing with the other one. And I'm gonna put, uh, usually you could put like parsley, but we're big time cilantro eaters. So, and the taste of it is just unbelievable. So I'm just gonna put this on the bottom where the salmon's gonna be sitting. Let's go ahead and put our, our salmon in. Beautiful cuts, guys. Cleaned them up when I got into the house. So like I said, the salmon's gonna go on top of this lemon slices and cilantro. So that's what it's looking like right now. There's that one. And that one it already looks good, just giving some color. I got one stick of melted butter in here, Kerrygold butter, love that butter. So we're gonna do a teaspoon of uh, lemon pepper. And then I wanna do um, a teaspoon, a half teaspoon of oregano. Half teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Um, I didn't have actually garlic cloves, so I just did the mixed garlic that comes in the jar, which I had fresh. But this is equivalent to like four garlic, garlic cloves chopped up, so go ahead and put that in there. And a half cup of honey here, guys. Check this out. Beautiful. It's gonna give it that sweet, that sweet flavor on this delicious fresh, fresh salmon. And let's give it a nice mix here. I'm gonna go ahead and pour this on. Coat it with love sauce right there. Make sure that we have enough for our other tray. It's gonna come out phenomenal. I already know it. Last thing, let's go ahead and salt the fish to your taste. Okay, and black pepper to your taste as well. All right guys, the asparagus just came out perfectly. Oven roasted, it's got that little crispiness on the, on the tips of the asparagus. And like I said, I didn't know if I was gonna do some cheese because I didn't know if we had any, but this is cheese mixed with potato. So, hey, I'm just doing this as we go. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and glob a good amount, just like in the middle of the, um, of the asparagus, just so it gets that oozy, cheesy potato -y. Yes, it's gonna be delicious. And I'm gonna put it on a high broil, make sure it doesn't burn and we'll see how it turns out. All right, now for the, for the main course. Let's go ahead and put this guy in. Let's put this down. Open that up. Let's go ahead and put him in. 300, I set it for 350. And for about, I'm gonna put it for 25 minutes. So let's go ahead and grab the other one. It's been marinated for a good while and that delicious sauce that I made, guys. And slip it on in. And once again, let's put the cooking time. And we're gonna be putting 25 minutes. All right, guys, we got delicious peeled deveined shrimp. Let's go ahead and season them up. So all I'm gonna be doing is I'm just gonna be putting a little bit of a little bit of salt, a little bit of black pepper, and a little bit of paprika. Perfect. Let's go ahead and mix it in. And last thing, a little bit of garlic salt, guys. All right, guys, I just go ahead and put a nice half a stick of butter. It's nice and melted. And we're gonna go ahead and add our seasoned shrimp. So let's just go carefully put them in there. All 
Beautiful, the smell, the aroma, guys. Unbelievable. All right, guys, for that sauce that I'm gonna be making, all we're gonna do, be doing is putting some, some mayonnaise on in here. And about this much of uh, just regular yellow, yellow mustard. Secret ingredient right here, guys. El pato, salsa de chile fresco. It's hot tomato sauce, that's what that is. Unbelievable taste. And I'm gonna be putting one whole little can of this. It came out. You want it nice and creamy. You don't want it like liquidy. Uh, if it is a little liquidy, just go ahead and add a little bit of more uh, mayonnaise to thicken it up, so. All right guys, shrimps are pretty much almost, almost done. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and put in that sauce that I made. Carefully put it in. Nice. I think I'm gonna put, I'm gonna let it soak in for a little bit, like about five minutes more. And then I think I'm gonna cover the lid just to actually um, just cook it up a little bit more. All right guys, we are all done. A Little bit of time in the kitchen, but well deserved. Family's ready to eat. So let's go ahead and plate this up here, guys. First thing, let's go ahead and put this delicious piece of salmon on our, um, put this down, on our plate. Grab a little bit of cilantro. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and grab some asparagus. Cheesy potato asparagus. Beautiful. And something that I made up just because my brain thinks a lot. And we're gonna go ahead and put these, these nice shrimps with a little bit of fresh green onion. And look at that guys, how delicious does that look? Mom, are you ready? Everybody's ready. Let's go ahead and taste this out. All right guys, finally sitting down to enjoy this delicacy meal, guys. The way that it looks, it's the way that it's gonna go down. Delicious, so enough talk. Let's go ahead and try that salmon out. So, see how that seasoning, that sauce that I made? Creamy, oh my God. The cilantro, you can get it from underneath. Let me get a little bit more. The honey, everything, everything goes perfect. And these little suckers that I that I just thought of, they're gonna be good. Oh my god, no way. I just wanna ask my family a question. I'm not gonna turn the camera around just because we've been working all day, we're redoing our floors in the house, so. But anyways guys, can you guys let everybody know, this is no lie, this is just because this is my family, they tell me the honest truth, we all trust, we all tell each other either the right, wrong, no, it wasn't good. Anyways, what do you guys think about it? Oh, so good. Um, I don't know. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. $100 plate, my mom says. I recommend you do a combo What was that? Five star restaurant, guys. And this is no joke. I literally just started. It burst in your mouth. Those shrimp with that sauce that I made. Unbelievable. Let's, let's, let me look at that. Cheesy potato with the asparagus. Mmm. And let's do a little combo with the shrimp and the salmon. Mm. Oh my God. My brother told me to do that. I'm gonna keep stuffing my face. This is probably 
I think this might be the best meal. Might be. What do you guys think? Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's up there. It's up there. But the flavors, the Fourth of July. Fourth of July is coming up. So, but anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the fishing portion. Thanks once again to my friend Paul taking us out and came back home safe. Trophy sized trout or uh, trout salmon and. Here we are preparing the meal for my family, just like what I always like to do, guys. So if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like these videos, and don't forget about that giveaway. All that information is in my link in the description below. That's all I have for you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Later, guys.